The question is specifically, how do I know? And so really it's an assurance question. It's a question of my perception, my accurate perception of what status I'm in. Am I, am I a believer and I'm, or am I an unbeliever is the basic question. And so how do I know that? I think the simplest answer is repentance over time. It's a return to God that's displayed in a pattern of seeking. So, so, so notice I'm, I'm attaching this concept of time as a necessary aspect of a growing confidence or awareness of my status. So if you think of 2 Corinthians 7, for instance, Paul talks about a godly sorrow and a worldly sorrow. So there's a worldly sorrow that can say, man, the consequences of my sin stink. Or even, I don't, I don't like myself that I'm capable of something like this. This stinks. I don't want to be like this. Okay, but, but it doesn't result in anything. The contrast is a godly sorrow results in this sort of, you even get the sense in the language Paul uses of this vengeful turning against my sin, of, of, of not just grieving it, but, but hating it practically. And that godly sorrow can only be displayed really over time. So, so I've, I've counseled many men uh, in, in the midst of just a deep and profound season of conviction. Some of them just caught in, in really profound sin, the type of sin that if you describe, you're like, how can anybody think they're Christian and having been giving themselves over to that for so long? And they naturally and I rightly ask the question, who am I? Am I saved? Am I unsaved? Do I belong to God? Do I not belong to God? And I tell them, you know, they're looking to me for assurance, and I just tell them, I don't know. And then I go another step for them. And I don't think you can know that at this point. Not because it's some Gnostic, mystical idea that you just have to sort of find the right way of thinking in order to find the settledness of mind. But, but the way the Bible describes godly sorrow, it requires ongoing patterns, ongoing activities of consistent repentance. So, so I just reassure them, look, let's not spin our wheels trying to really ask that question right now. Instead, let's spend our efforts seeking the gospel of Jesus Christ and his understanding of what your sin is and his solution to you coming out of that sin. Let's spend our efforts pursuing him and that will show itself in a pattern over time that will then result in an increasing assurance or awareness of whether I'm saved or not. Or if you really don't belong to the Lord, then you're going to get frustrated with the process. You're going to cling to your sin because you actually love it and you're trying to not appear like you love it, but your love will come through eventually. And eventually you'll just want to dust your hands of this thing and, and, and just be done with this and, and live openly and sort of genuinely in the sense of I'm not going to pose uh, anymore. And so time is a key element of being able to gauge that repentance. And, and in those situations, there have been a number of times where uh, over time it was clearly demonstrated that someone loved their sin and did not love the Lord Jesus Christ. And then happily, there have been many more times where there's a lot of agony along the way. There's a lot of heart searching along the way. Uh, there's a lot of pain along the way. But God clearly establishes a work of grace that gives the people of God greater confidence in the level of repentance, in the pattern of repentance, and, and also results in giving, giving the person a greater level of confidence in his own status before the Lord. So I want to be careful here because 
What I'm not saying is that assurance is merely the result of our efforts. We're talking about patterned repentance, patterned seeking of God as an aspect of our assurance. But the ground of our insurance is always and only the gospel of Jesus Christ on our behalf. Thanks for watching Honest Answers. You can submit your questions by email, Twitter, or in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to find out the answer to next Wednesday's question.